Hi everyone. Are you okay there, Shadow? Shadow's come to say hello today. Hello. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome. Got my cuppa. Got my books. I'm ready to go. I'm waiting for everybody. <laughs> Hi Loretta. I wasn't sure how quiet it would be. We're getting so close to Christmas now and I know everybody is so busy. Busy, busy. No. So today's stream, um, we're going to do a little bit of a test page in this book and um, we're going to cut it shorter today because I know that everybody's busy and um, we all have heaps going on. <laughs> Loretta. Hi Abby. Uh, so yeah, we're just going to do a couple of flip throughs today uh, and a giveaway. Why not? Let's do a giveaway today. Are you okay there putting your butt in the camera? Look at your butt in the camera. Shadow says Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hi Dawn, welcome. You have nothing on? I have um a family Christmas on Sunday again and I have a taxiing tomorrow uh, hairdressers and picking up meat and then also we've got a little bit of a friends um, uh, Christmas barbecue thing that we do every year with a couple of friends so we're doing that uh, tomorrow night so we just I don't know it just seems like everything just sort of happens and appears uh, at Christmas time uh, and then uh, of course Christmas Day I'm, I'm doing breakfast here and then um, I'm having lunch with my dad's side of the family so we have lots of Christmas things happen because we have so much family it's kind of cool it's good it means that we get out we get to see everybody um, some we don't only get to see once a year so it's nice to be able to see them for that too so Abby, I've still got two to go, but uh, the other one we had was great. We we had dinner and yeah, Nanny got his stitches out too yesterday. So no more cone of shame, <laughs> no more bruises on our legs. Uh, some of the bruises that we have from this silly cone that she had over her head is uh, ridiculous because she just had no sense of what that it, what it was doing to us because <laughs> uh, it didn't bother her, of course. Hi Renee, welcome. So yeah. We are going to be quiet today. We've got six of us. Oh, that's a bit sad. Oh, only six. Usually we have about 30 of us. Yes, it's a cup of tea. It's finished. It's all gone. It's all gone. But look, you know what? Better chance of winning a, um, a Fabrica fantasy book. We have an, uh, hi Cheryl, we have a total fire ban today. So um, in Australia here, <laughs> it's, if you can see here, Victorian emergency today. Um, fire danger rating severe. Uh, we have a total fire ban here. Uh, the the weather, let's have a look what it, what it is in, 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 uh, All right. So for today, at the moment, it is um, there. I'm just going to put it in our, because we go by 
Celsius, not Fahrenheit. Um, and today it says it's going to be 42 here, which is huge. So um, that was 108 in Fahrenheit. Does that seem hot to you guys? I don't know, but it's freaking hot here. <laughs> Let's have a look. There we go. Today it's going to be 43, uh, 43 degrees. Very hot. <laughs> um, 108 it says. Yeah. <laughs> How crazy is that? Uh, it's going to be hot. Hot, hot, hot. Hi guys. Welcome. Hi Joey. <laughs> Hi Joe Beth, welcome guys. I know, how hot is that? Uh, let me go back to that. So it's going to be 43 degrees Celsius here. So 43 to Fahrenheit. 109.4 degrees it says on here. Um, it's going to get really, really hot. Um, this is actually, it used to be quite normal for us to have 42 to 43 degree days, uh, four in a row, and then we'd have like a little break in the weather and then it'd get just that hot again. Um, but we've had hardly any really, really hot days in the last probably two years. We've had a few here and there, but nothing where it's been like a heat wave you know like you know we've had a bit of a break in between and and all that sort of thing and everybody gets sick because it's really really hot and then it goes back to like 20 degrees <laughs> so um hi maria it is hot isn't it i know um so yeah it's it is very very hot and uh, I'm just going to have a look to see if there's any more of those. We've got a 20, a 21. We've got all really nice days then. Um, so, yeah, this is the first really stinking hot day we've had. So, of course, um, most of Australia and New South Wales has been on fire for the last month. Uh, so, of course, the risk of more fires breaking out and spreading across into Victoria is huge. So, um, we just hope that it's not another... Um, Black Saturday event because it's been devastating just the fires in New South Wales the animals the koalas the you know it's just been so hard and uh, I just pray that today we don't get any more hi Joanna welcome thanks for dropping in so uh yeah hot 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 anyway I got some books for us today um, I was talking about this on Monday and do you know what when we finished our live I got a knock on the door and we got this it's funny isn't it <laughs> Sheila <laughs> hi Sean we were just saying how hot it's going to be today 109.4 was it Fahrenheit um, so yeah it's uh, going to be stinking do we like stinking not really not really, not at all. <laughs> we do not at all. Um, Joanna, most of them are in New South Wales. Uh, I'm just going to check my fire map now because there have been a few pop up in Victoria, uh, but we have been pretty safe so far. Uh, let me just find it. It's it hides this emergency app. I have it hides <laughs> All right In Victoria, we've got a couple of fires that have popped up but nothing near here. Oh Hang on wait here. I don't say that uh Veronia, small fire, vehicle fire, that's okay. Uh, we have this emergency app where we can actually see what's happening in our state. Um, it looks like there's a, a wind warning uh, and that's probably why they're most worried 
about it. There's total fire bans all over the state, uh, but a lot of the fires are up here in Sydney and around these areas. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, 109. What did we say it was? Uh, we did look. Hang on. Let me just open it up again. 109.4 degrees. 43 degrees Celsius here. And uh, 109.4. Crazy. <laughs> um, so our house, uh, the whole front of our house, uh, our lounge room and our bedroom faces the west, which means that we get a uh, majority of the heat from about 1 o'clock onwards. And... Um, we have an industrial air conditioner in our lounge room. It's that bad in here. Um, we had uh, our first summer that we were here, we had a 69 degrees in the house, which is 156 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> um, and uh, we couldn't live, we couldn't, <laughs> we had to install these air conditioners. It was just so hot in here. Um, and we have a single brick house with uh, hardly any you know insulation so of course the heat comes straight in and it doubles in heat because you're inside so yes very very hot um, and in some in our Christmases here uh, when we think of Christmas we think of the beach we think of you know sand and uh, swimming pools and because <laughs> it's so hot we don't get a white Christmas <laughs> We get yellow Christmas and yellow from the sun. We get seatbelt branding and uh, steering wheel hand burns. <laughs> and melted chocolate. <laughs> melted chocolate. <laughs> oh, Renee. Leslie, hello. I think Leslie's, are you in, Leslie, are you in New South Wales? I can't remember. I always forget. There's a few of you that are from Australia as well. Um, and hello, Leslie. Yellow snow is not fun. <laughs> Hi, Cassandra. Welcome. No, don't eat yellow snow. <laughs> we don't have shrimp. It's not shrimp. They're prawns. <laughs> I don't know where put a shrimp on the Barbie comes from. Who says that? We don't say that. We say it's a prawn. And usually they're like awesome sized prawns. <laughs> yep, New South Wales. We had a fireman die. Oh no, Leslie. My grandfather is a fireman um, and he has been with the fire brigade for 50 odd years now. Um, he doesn't fight fires anymore but he still supports, he's uh, 87 roughly, uh, but he still supports the fire brigade and listens out and makes sure he can help where he can. But um, just so sad, just sad. Oh dear. 44 in Bandura. Oh gosh. Hi Pat. Yeah, it's going to be 43 here uh, today, Cassandra. Uh, we were just saying for the those that go with Fahrenheit, it's 109.4 degrees. So yeah, it's going to be hot. Oh, okay. Oh, you did? I never... I never, it wasn't my thing. Um, I, was, I was a little bit sporty as a youngster, but it just, I don't like running. I used to play basketball and that's pretty much the running that I ever did. Um, that's the only reason I never joined up because I used to watch them, like, because he was in the fire brigade, they used to do drills and they used to do training for volunteers and things like that. And I always used to go and watch and just watching them running up and down the ladder with the hoses and the, <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, no, nah, you can have that. Not in the heat. Cause most of our fires occur in the heat. So <laughs> I'm just a wuss. I'm a wuss. <laughs> I'm wussy. 
Yes, it's a prawn. <laughs> a prawn and a lamb chop. <laughs> well, um, Leslie, I hope things get better. This weather is just not going to help, though, is it? Yeah, our fireys don't get paid here. Some do uh, in larger departments and things like that, but most of our firemen are all volunteers, so they don't get paid for what they do. They go out and they volunteer and they risk their lives for um, people here. So we don't actually have paid fire, which is really strange, isn't it? Like, I mean, they pay ambulance and all that sort of thing, so they should pay them, I think. It should be paid. For the, what they do and how they risk their lives, it's one thing that they should be paid for. Pat, I do hope that you are feeling better. All volunteer, yeah. Yeah, we don't get... Which is silly. Like, it's a, one of those tragedies that, I don't know, these people just risk their lives, so why shouldn't they? No, they don't get paid at all. Um, they're all volunteers. Yeah. So, we're going to go through a few books. I've got Mermaid Legends 2nd Edition. I've got Fierce Females by Nathaniel Wake. And I've got Fantasy Ball uh, by Fabrica Fantasy. Also, Fabrica Fantasy have given me a book to give away today. Uh, so, uh, it is a digital book uh, by Fabrica Fantasy. So, uh, that one I'll do when we go through the flip through of that one. Um... Yeah, isn't it strange how they have both paid and volunteered? No, we don't even have paid, I don't think. Some may be higher up uh, in, um, I don't know, but none of ours have ever been paid over this side, so it's all volunteer. So let's have a look. Anastasia Ellie Kildeva, she's re reanimated. I don't know, what do you call it? This is a second edition of the book. So the first edition is available as a PDF. And uh, if you go through the first edition, it's just plain... Uh, actually, I probably could have given you an example. If you've seen her Dragon's uh, colouring book, it's just plain line art. There's no details in it. There's no grayscale. It's it's quite... Um, it's quite... You know, it's a line art image book. And what she did was she redid it and... Um, she redid some of the images, added some new images, and uh, it kind of fits in now with with uh, Nocturnes and, excuse me, Mysteria Shadows at my feet here. And uh, it's absolutely beautiful. They're not, there's not as many close-ups as in the other books, uh, but there's some really pretty images. So let's have a look through. Um, now, I ordered it directly from her website. Uh, you can get it from other places, like there's a few stores on Etsy that have been selling it. Um, I ordered it from here. It was $20 uh, US for the book and $20 US for postage for me here in Australia. Um, I know that a couple of us uh, Aussies were in a group where the lovely Selena, is it Selena? Yeah, that's her name, isn't it? <laughs> I just had it mental blank uh, she helps usually to get us them a little bit cheaper um but i ended up ordering it directly from her there's a little sticker in here cute excuse me madam um so yeah let's have a look it's really pretty i also ordered from her website hello madam shadow all right look at this tail just what are you doing Now, I'm having trouble with my camera. It doesn't like me today. Let me see if I can adjust it slightly. Feels like it's blurry. Hmm. 
I don't think it is. I think it's just the camera. It's got like a fisheye kind of look to it, doesn't it? <laughs> so all the pages are single-sided. The paper is quite thick. You can hear it as I was folding it over. We'll have a test. We'll do a tester page. Uh, since I'm not going to be doing any colouring, we'll do a tester to see what it looks like. But the images uh, that she's done are really beautiful. She's added in, you know, the grey scaling to give them shape and dimension. Um, just beautiful. I actually should have purchased the other one as well so I could show you the differences between them. That would have been smart. Oh no, <laughs> Cassandra. Top chat party. Digital colouring is hard. I have to agree. And when people go out there and go, oh, it's cheating to do digital colouring, I just scoff at them because have they ever tried it? It is not cheating. It's hard. I spent, I had this little teddy bear picture and I thought, oh, I'm going to try digital colouring. And I spent like three hours trying to colour a little tutu that this little bear was wearing and oh my goodness I got to the end of it and went this is not worth it that's going to take me another 25 hours to do the bear <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> so uh yeah digital colouring is not easy I'm sure it will get easier the more that you do it but it's definitely not easy <laughs> It does look like a totally different book. I think only a couple of the images are the same. They've just been redone. And then there's some new images in it. So it is a completely different book. So this is the second edition. I have a link for it if you're interested. Did I pop that up? I'm going to do it again. Shh, Shadow. Shh, Shadow. <laughs> Shadow, stop it. Arr. Arr. This is gorgeous. Look at these crystals and that tail. It is a beautiful book. It's got like a, she almost looks like a jellyfish bride. <laughs> Loretta, you're complaining about getting chilly I'm actually getting sweaty <laughs> oh this is beautiful look at this I think you could make that moonlight or sunshine Another jellyfish one. See, that one looks blurry to me. I'm going to try moving it into the middle a bit. Definitely the better option for the. Maybe I'll just zoom out a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit too close. I don't know. I have no idea. It's not working very clearly, though, is it? I hope you guys can see it clearly. Oh, it's stunning. did get it uh, Joanna you could uh, put the images onto your own paper and uh, have a go at them and when you feel like you're confident enough you could do some in the book I tend not to color in the books because I don't usually know what the paper is going to be like it can be unpredictable and I like to be able to use a little bit of everything if I need to so I tend to usually print on my own paper 
but obviously to do that you're going to need a A3 printer because this book's quite big. Uh, it is a 27 centimeters by 26 centimeters, so it's pretty big. All of the images have now got her signature on them as well. This is beautiful. You don't usually the Reddit either. <clears throat> I love this. I've seen uh, it's uh, supposed to be a nighttime scene. This is a moon. Very pretty. Oh, was it? I'm actually expecting some more from Russia um, by. Uh, Oh, I can't remember her name now and I totally hate doing that. <laughs> Katrina. I don't know how to say her. Her last name. I'm just going to check where they are. Katrina Bobrary Kina? Kina? Bobrary Kina? Is that how you say it? Echo Spirit, um, Spirit of the Past, and, and, uh, she's also sending me the other one as well. There's two <laughs> that she's sending me. Um, and they were coming from Russia as well. Uh, and they are handed over to Australia for delivery. Oh, <laughs> that's exciting. <laughs> so I might get it soon. Uh, I'm getting two of her books, so. Oh no, Kelly, where are you? Onto our block. Ooh. Still, it's if it's smoky, it's oh, this one's pretty, isn't it? Look at this, gorgeous. Are these like pearls sitting on her? I'm gonna say they're pearls. Beautiful. Yeah, Echo Spirit. Yeah, I'm getting both of them. Central Victoria. So, yeah. Sure, Joanna. Ask away. Pearls or bubbles, yeah. They look like pearls because they're not see-through. They're pretty. This is gorgeous. I love her tail. And um, I was looking at it the other day thinking, oh, I would colour this and I would do this to get that sort of sheer look. Stunning use some of the um the stuff i used in my siamese fighting fish <laughs> yeah beautiful nina gambi oh okay yep hi donna <laughs> donna Hannah, Hannah Lynn, or Hannah Calzone. <laughs> mm. 
This one's cute. Little baby mermaids. That sounds interesting. Don't say that, Joanna. We don't say that about our work. It's not like that at all. <laughs> if we don't do any, then we won't learn. So it's good that you've even done it. <laughs> That's pretty. Hi, Rain. Welcome. Man, I wish this camera was doing a better job. It's really just not. Hi, Nana. You don't think that the image likes you? Oh, I have times like that. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, I've done some doozies. Oh, this one's pretty too. You can imagine the light coming down from the top of the water down onto her sleeping. Hi, Kimmy. A few more coming in now. We were quiet before, not many of us. <laughs> Have you seen this one, Nana? We're about to finish it, so I'm gonna go back through and just do a quick flip of the of them backwards. Um, it is a beautiful book, and we're gonna do a tester page, I think. I think we'll do a few different products and see see what it, the paper's like. It feels the same as Mysteria and Nocturne. It's kind of got a smooth feel to it, but it's got a little bit of a tooth. So yeah, it's beautiful, beautiful book. This one I love. I think one of the first ones I'll do is the couple. I think one of the first ones will be the couple on the beach. This one. I think I'll attempt this one first. I think it's beautiful. <laughs> oh my word, okay. The Adeline image hates you. <laughs> yep, I have that. I was doing an image for, the, I can't remember who it was, I think it was Vivid Publishers, and um, the image, I just could not get it to look how I wanted it to look. It was just so frustrating. And sometimes that happens. Sometimes like little things like the shape of a hand or, or I don't know, the eyes slightly off, They it just puts me off and I, and then I struggle with the rest of it, like I'm trying to get something right and I can't. This is beautiful too. This will be one on my list, I think. <laughs> I could, Abby. I could do that. They're actually more... I mean, they're mermaids, yes, but there's a lot of just women and fish. She's pretty. <laughs> This one's pretty too. I really like this one. I saw Anastasia's coloured version of this and it's beautiful. Sometimes there's just things that you colour in an image and it just can't, you just, I don't know, just frustrates you and you just can't seem to get it right. I'll usually just leave it. I won't finish it. <laughs> Hi, Ciara. <laughs> Welcome. Woohoo. Could you get away with one lot of shipping if you're shipping it over to the same place? You might be able to. 
That's like a Ursula type thing. She's like an octopus. And this one's pretty too. So there's some beautiful images in there. They're all beautiful. And then I got a little sticker as well. Little sticker. Should we do a... What time is it? I'm only doing a short one. But let's do a little bit of a tester. I usually do the front page as a tester. So let's do that. Alrighty, let's get started, shall we? Let's do some marker first. I'm going to do like some marker on the bottom here. Let's do a little bit of like sandy kind of color. Let's see how that goes. Now, best test with marker. We know it's going to go through because it's alcohol marker. See? But is, does it bleed? Let's have a look. Let's do some really close to the line. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Come on. Actually, that's not going to work. Bear with me. I'm just going to bring my camera down a little bit. That's better. A little bit clearer too. Okay, so we've got... It does bleed a little bit. Let me just zoom in. And, and focus. So I actually did it over here and uh, it actually moves to the line. So coming around and it moved to the line. So it actually does bleed a little bit so if you're doing it you've got to be careful. See it's already gone out the lines here and here. Uh, so it does bleed a little bit. So, but that's okay. Bleeding's okay. Just like Nina bleeds a little bit too. Should we see if it blends? Let's see if it blends. I'll add a little bit of a uh, E53. You need some absorbent paper underneath when it bleeds too. If you have some sort of absorbent uh, paper underneath it, it will help to draw it through the paper and just stop it from bleeding a little bit. Just add a bit of a shadow under her. And just bleed that, blend that out, and bleed that out, blend it out a little bit. See how it looks. It blends fine as well. So we could do we could do a marker in here. We just have to be really careful of the lines. Make sure that we don't overdo it too much marker or wet the page too much because uh, it will just bleed. Very nice. Oh, thank you. Who are we talking about? <laughs> I heard that YouTube is backtracking on their violations. What do you mean? What? It does seem similar. I don't know if it's exactly the same. Shadow, go away. But it seems similar. Yeah, it does. Stop it. No, I'm using markers. You don't like it when I use markers. You really don't. She doesn't like them. It's like sniffing in an alcohol drink. She, yeah, that's gross. Squinty-eyed cat. <laughs> Very 
really? You're sitting on my book. She says, I don't care what, what I'm sitting on. I'm just going to come a little bit closer. I'm still too far away. This camera is really hard to adjust and I really need to get a proper... A proper thing. Alrighty. Excuse me. I don't want to rip my book, thank you. <laughs> I don't know why this edge is blurry for some reason. You see that? It's kind of blurring off. Weird. Weird. Sound weird to me. Don't know. Really, don't know. We're just coming to view. <laughs> Hi, Kenny. Wow. Nani got her stitches out. Um, excuse me, Shadow. Uh, she's all good. She's got rid of her cone of shame. She's very happy. Uh, let's do some water-based. Um, um, let's add a little bit of... What have I got here? Oh, this one doesn't have a colour, so it's one of the new ones. Tombow marker. Let's try it. I find that I can't blend these markers. They just don't blend. You layer them and uh, I feel like they just build up on they don't sort of blend I don't know maybe I'm using the wrong kind of paper but get off the book I can't move it let's try a little bit of water as well yes I was just saying that I read other but We'll give it a go. That's what I'm here for. To dry it. So you guys know. I'm going to put, put a bit of water on it as well. Not too much. Just a little bit. It's not too fast. Yep, nope. somebody dropped their breakfast spoon. It doesn't really like water that much. Um, what else? What else? Should we try an actual watercolor as well, just to make sure? Let's try a little bit of ink tents. You know me, you've got to try everything. Intense has got a really pretty green too, so. This is the one that, uh, this is the one that Kenny got me, actually. The travel set. I'm going to use the green. Teal green. water does go a little bit blotchy right it's not like perfect it's not terrible either though I don't mind it I think you could make it work I think you could make it work if you needed to there was something specific that you had in mind or a color that you really wanted to do I think you could do it I really do love these intense um, things. I need to get the other set still. I haven't been able to find it yet. I'm actually finding that the doing it like a watercolor like this is actually better than the pens. 
So that's something. But still, you're going to have to be careful with watercolour. Alright, let's try some pencil, shall we? <laughs> what are we talking about now? What a soft. All right, they're cool. I liked them. I just love that color, though. It's a pretty color. I'm biased. All right. <laughs> I'm biased. I'll just move that out of Shadow's way because she's a bit of a poop when it comes to things like that. Aren't you? Alright, let's try a whole heap of pencils, shall we? First up on the list is Polychromos. Mortuum. Mortem. I love this kind of grayscale look. I think you can get some beautiful images using that as a guide. So this is uh, Polychromos, Faber-Castell Polychromos at the moment. I have actually used the pretty much everything in both Mysteria and I don't think I did anything in Nocturnes, did I? I'm not sure now I think about it, but a little bit of cinnamon. Pencils go on nice and smooth. I'm going to do some blending and see if we can layer and everything. doing these little testers a bit of light flesh mm, looks pretty good I've got I'm really annoyed about that that's actually neater. You can see that a little bit more clearly. And what's this colour? Cobalt turquoise. Light cobalt turquoise. They're good. They blend well. It's fairly smooth paper though. I think you'd have, trying to get heaps and heaps of layers, you might have a bit of a problem with these ones, the oil base, because the paper's quite smooth. You might have better luck with wax base. So we'll have a look at Prismacolors and Luminance and see what they're like. Hi, Shara. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. Hi, Shelley. Welcome. Hi, Rochelle. Michelle, Rochelle. <laughs> I 
Well, um, uh, Jenny Lewin has some cute little travel books. Let's have a look. I'm going to add some burnt sienna, sorry, burnt ochre 10% in the uh, luminance. Let's see how we go with that. I quite like how that's going down. It feels nice and smooth. The colour's going on nicely. I'm not putting any pressure on the page, so it's not too bad. I like that better than the polychromo so far. She's watching me colour and uh, she's incredibly interested in what I'm doing here. <laughs> she's like, that looks like fun. Can I play too, mummy? Cheeky girl, don't you? A little bit of uh, burnt sienna, 10%. Adding some more of that light cobalt turquoise in the polys. Get that into the edges of the body there. Show a little bit of a pearly shine, I guess. Might be hard to see in the light, but okay. Yeah, look, I think that the luminance worked a lot better. It was a little bit smoother. Um, I'm going to use a little bit of the luminance. Where's a buff titanium? Where are you? all dirty. I've got to clean it first. It's had like pink. I've used it on pink. <laughs> okay, so Lumi's are good. Polly's weren't overly perfect, but they're not too bad either. Um, let's have a look. What else have we got here? To the tail with Holborn. This is a peacock green. Oh wow, Holborn's are really smooth on it. Holborn's are a mixture of oil and wax, I'm pretty sure. But it's extremely smooth. It's going down so nice like butter it's going a little bit deeper I 
can't even see Shadow. Yeah, it's like right in my way. Come on, hop off. Come on, hop down. Down. <laughs> PMS. Shut up. It's actually less for us because, you know, we're in Australia. We're like ahead of you by 12 hours nearly. <laughs> now, Monday I have... So today I'm doing a bit of a giveaway for, for Break of Fantasy. Monday uh, I have a discount code to share with you all for a new Momo Girl images. So make sure you pop in on Monday to check that out. And I'm really liking the Holdens. Let's go a different colour. I want to try a different colour. Can go in there. Oh, my chair's squeaky today. Let's go with a lighter porcelain blue. The Holbins go over the watercolour really well too. I just I'm gonna say that the Shapir Farbins will go really well on them on this paper too, because they're kind of smooth and you know yeah, I reckon they do well in here. Alright, that's Holbins. Holbins are a go. Pablo. I gotta think up. <laughs> oh, I just broke my Pablo. Got a little bit of a uh, brownish orange. Hmm, feel alright. Kind of smooth like the Holbins. Okay, so so far my least favourite is the Polychromos and the Tombos. <laughs> Okay, let's add a little bit of whole uh, no Pablo. Let's go with a green, jade green. Add a little bit of jade green into the dark sections of skin. Oh, hello, Posty. green and let's go with what have we got there's not a lot in in the Pablo's for skin is there we, we don't have heaps of options a little bit of hazel Me. 
being rough, but a little bit of granite rose. These are okay. Holborn's still better. Sorry guys, yeah, the link's there. Thanks, um, Kenny, honey. <laughs> there it is again. Had it sitting there. I do have it handy there. Oh, have you seen the <laughs> Michelle? It's, it's a beautiful walk. Um, Alright, I'm just going to add a little bit of the burnt ochre. 10%. And a little bit of buff titanium. Alright. Pablos. Uh, that was skin. Let me try something else in that Pablos just to check because that wasn't a very good. Um. I want to add a little bit of pink into the tail. I'm going to use this one, Ruby Red. You know, this is actually quite smooth. I don't mind that. I mean, obviously, this is just a tester page. It's not going to be perfect, but we'll try and add some nice colour in here. Oh gosh, camera's bad. Okay, let's go with. I'll put all these away later, otherwise, I'll be sitting here forever. This mark. I'll do a little bit more skin. I need some henna in here somewhere. And uh, some peach. Light peach. A little bit of henna. Nectar. Let's do nectar. Still got some skin areas to do here, so prismas are awesome on it. Nice and smooth. It's going down beautifully. Peach. Gotta add a little bit of the green in there as well. What have I got here? Some uh, light aqua. And a little bit of blush pink. Oh, I keep missing the chat because the little blue arrow wasn't all the way down. I might too. Just trying a little bit of everything. You never know. Nah, I'm nearly finished now. I don't have a lot more to try. Unless you guys have something that you want me to try. I've got some Shapir Farbens. I'll grab them out. And we'll give them a go. A little bit of the 
light peach just finishing off the fingers because I didn't do that with the tableaus too much Bit of white. Smudge everything in. Blend it together. I think white is one of the tools of the trade. Soft white pencil. Any soft white pencil. And until two weeks ago, I didn't realise that there was one really nice one in the whole bins. <laughs> Thanks, Nana. Good. Now it's really light under this light. Really light under this light. Aha. See a bit more of it there. Alright, well the Prismas were actually really quite nice. I liked them. Um, I like Prismas. They've got lots of bold colour, but the only problem with them is that they're not um, they're not light fast, so I don't know how long I don't know. I should do a test, you know, do a whole heap of pencils on paper and leave it out in the sun and see how it goes. It's this process red. This is one of my favourite colours. In Prismas. And Dahlia Purple is another one. Nice. Let's try some... What have we got? Oh, some Black Widow. Um, oh, I like that purple. Let's go with that one. Scorpion set burgundy. Gonna add a little bit of burgundy to her tail. Why not? They feel alright. They feel alright. I'm going to put that one back. Let's go with the green. Venom. So these are kind of oily pencils to me and uh, they actually work quite well on here. Compared to the Polychromos, these are actually nice and smooth. They're going down on the paper nicely. They're not leaving any sort of, you know, bumps or ridges. Isn't it so funny? Because I'm pretty sure that the Polychromos worked really well in the other book. So this paper must be slightly different. And uh, we, I wouldn't have known that if I hadn't have given them a try. So... Well, Black Widows work really well. I like them. They've come out nice. And I don't like the Black Widows on a lot. They're, um, I mean, they're not horrible, but I don't use them a lot. But in this book, it's really nice. Smooth. Easy to lay down. That was, this is a, that one was from the Scorpion set. The other one, this is from the Black Widow set. Very nice. Just 
just being slightly rough. Looks good. All right, let's try Shapir Farben. I love Shapir Farben. They smell amazing. Every time I open the tin, I'm like, ah, oh, that is so good. Flamingo pink. Uh, uh, uh. That's all right. No worries. At least you can see what you can use in it. Now. You shush. No, you're not having my pencils. I know you like them, but. She'd love to eat them. Need a green. Turquoise. You feel good. I still think that so far the smoothest on them it has been the Holbins. Um, the Black Widows were pretty good. And the Prismacolors were good. Um, I had a little bit of trouble with the... With the Polys. They didn't blend very well with the skin area down there. It's got like bits through it. I can see parts of the white paper still coming through. Mermaid green. When you're coloring, try and mix different pencils together because you will be so surprised in what you can get using different brands and different colors. Don't be afraid to pull out a couple of sets at a time. These are nice. I'm liking them. They're going well. A little bit of green in these. It's smooth. There's no kind of... Um, There's no like friction or anything, they're just gliding over the paper. Nice. So much for only doing a short one today, hey. <laughs> Shapir Farbens are beautiful on them. On this paper. You want to go where? <laughs> no, I haven't tried Karen's, but I can. Um, I think they'll be like the Tombos, though. Well, bye bye, Shapir Farben. You're so pretty. What have we got in here? Just double checking. Color soft polycolor. Hello, polycolor. You are polycolorful. This is um dark orange.
Mm. They're a little bit like the um, polys right here. They're not horrible. They're not as nice as the other ones I've tried so far though. Just trying to get some different colour through these leaves. A little bit of yellow in there. Yep, not fussed with those. Not going well. That was the poly colours uh, in Kona. Not that great. Uh, light fast. I haven't got the whole set of light fast. I still need to get the other, the other set. But we've got a few colours in here. Let's have a look. Light fast. We've got violet. Let's add some purple in here. Need sharpening. Joanna, where are you from? Violet. And thank you. Because <laughs> we need it. Oh, wow. Nice. Come on, you can do it. These are so vibrant, aren't they? Look at that. That colour. I'm hardly even putting any pressure on. Let's put some in these leaves. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm always quite disappointed in, in Derwent's usually. I, I struggle. But, um... That is really vibrant. It's coming out really vibrant on the, this paper. It's not completely smooth. Like, I've still got a few sort of lines and things through there. But I think that could be blended out with a little bit of white. The colour's magnificent, though. Isn't it? Look at that colour. It's just, like, I'm hardly putting any pressure down. have the Arteza pencils. I had borrowed some off uh, Linda I think to do a bit of a tester with them but I don't have a set of them. I borrowed quite a few sets off the lovely Linda. She let me borrow a few to do colour charts and things with which has been good. set of Amazon basic pencils and they've just disappeared but they I didn't like them that much so I don't know maybe I gave them away I do not remember but I have searched the house upside down and cannot find them I'm pretty sure I let them go 
we go. There we go. Is anyone seen Frozen 2? Don't tell me. Um, I have heard that it was fabulous though. <laughs> Need a bit of an orange. There's not a lot in this set. So maybe I'll just go a bit of yellow. Yellow is always awesome. In um, any colour, any pencil I find, most yellows are beautiful. Yellow must be an easy colour to um, produce. The pigment must be easy to get right. <laughs> Um, not that I remember. I think I used them on an Anastasia image, actually. Um, a, a dragon a while ago. Um, and I wasn't totally fussed with them. Like, they weren't, oh my, I have to have them. That makes any sense. <laughs> so far, uh, these are working really well. So, let's add a little bit of, um, what have we got here? Sienna. Just going to add a little bit of colour underneath her. Oh, can't see it. Wait. <laughs> I'm actually looking forward to seeing the Cats musical movie with rebel wilson and quite a few others in it it looks really good i'll probably cry in that too <laughs> i don't usually watch soppy movies because i don't know they can get depressing <laughs> I quite like those. The light fast were pretty good. If I had the rest of the colours, I'd be able to probably go a little bit better, but not much colour in there that's going to match what I'm doing. So let's go colour soft instead. All right. Let's hope they are what they sound like they are. Soft. Let's add some dark green. It does look fabulous. I'm looking forward to it. I love Rebel Wilson too. She, she's amazing. So. They are soft. Like the name suggests. But they're not even colour. I don't know how to explain that. Um, so... The colour isn't um, going down really smooth that you can't see. Oh, my sharpener does not like these pencils, that's for sure. That lead's broken. The colour is going on nicely. Oh, man, I broke it. Let's go with bright orange. It's going down like the polychromos. It's going onto the paper okay, but there's like, um, it's not smooth. It's, um, it's leaving kind of like little white patches on the page. It's not gripping the paper properly. So, I think you could work with it and you could blend it with white or a blender but it's not the same as say the Shapir Farben or the Holben which just went like glided on and it covered the paper really well. This is not doing that. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Fantastic. I think I'm close to the end. Okay, I think that's all I have. Pencil. 
pencil wise. I've got some Derwent Dust Studio. Mm, Derwent Artist. Uh, German artists are really hard pencils and the colour's not very bright. No, I'm not enjoying that at all. Just thought I'd try it. Um, so someone said they wanted me to try a Karen marker. Uh, you know what, let's try and do this for the water. Let's see if we can add a little bit of blue wool to the water. Sorry, I just did a bit of a line there and it just went wool because it was slippery. Do you want me to add water as well? See what it's like? I think we found with the water ones it's not quite as nice as... Yeah, can you see how it goes kind of spotty and it's not even? Water's not great in this, so don't do water. <laughs> So that was Karen Marcus, Karen Brush Prep Marker Pro. And uh, I'm just going to do another squiggle because I want them to be a little bit even throughout. <laughs> it's not blending, no. <laughs> it doesn't want to blend. I've got a the colourless blender here and it does not, it's not moving at all ever so slightly but no no good if you're going to use watercolor use actual watercolor because then it doesn't have to you've already got it on your brush and you can move it around a little bit easier uh, using the markers is not going to be able to move that move the ink off there it's just basically there um, but you know we had to give it a try hey Let's do a little bit of pan pastel instead. Got a little bit of pan pastel. Pastel works good on a lot of things, so Add a little bit of green in it. Beautiful, but <laughs> it works. Uh, Pan pastel is awesome. Look at it now, it's looking pretty dull and boring. I'll have to go and get rid of those dark lines in the background now to make it look any good. Anyway, I'm not stressed, it's just a test of page, remember. Alright guys, well I think I've tried pretty much everything in that. So what we might do is we'll do a flip through of Nathaniel Wake's new book, Fierce Females. And, uh, and then we'll do a flip through of the Fabrica Fantasy Fantasy Ball book and we'll do a giveaway for that one. So, yeah, they go splotchy. Yeah. Alright, so let's do it. Let's do uh, Fierce Females by Nathan. <laughs>
So that awesome book's available on Amazon. I've popped the link up there for you. Um, and yeah, I hope you liked that one. So today we're doing a giveaway for Fabrica Fantasy's book. It will be a PDF version. Uh, I'm going to show you the flip through and then afterwards we'll do the giveaway. So hang about to see the book that you're actually going in the drawer to win. Um, it's a beautiful book. It came out two books ago, so there's another one after this one, but I really liked this one, so um, I thought maybe we would do an image out of it at some stage, and um, I wanted to show you the flip. So there is music. I'm sorry. It's loud. <laughs> this one's a little bit nicer, though, because it's a pretty book. So um, let's go in and have a look at this one. through it one more time because it's a smaller book it doesn't have a lot of images in it so why not have another look through it so don't forget that it is only a PDF version that we'll be giving away of this book today and uh, I've just printed out one that uh, I actually like um, I just thought, you know, while we're doing the giveaway and stuff, I need to do something. So why not just colour one of them? <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do. Just quickly. I've only got a little bit of time. I'm going to run away and uh, keep getting organised for... Christmas. All right. I really like this one. And I think this one was called The Queen's Sister. I can't remember. Um, but they all have names. They do. It is a really pretty book. Um, let's do the giveaway rules. So pick one number between 1 and 100 
Only one number per person. The first person to call that number wins it. No chatting during the number calling until the winning number's drawn. No numbers before the words go, go, go or after the words stop, stop, stop will be counted. The number closest to the generated number without going over it wins. If there is no winner, then we'll do the draw again. Make sure that you're on live chat. Click on that little box and the little, little triangle next to the chat. Make sure that it is clicked on live chat so that you can see the chat as it's coming up. Any giveaway or promotion is in no way sponsored, endorsed or administered by YouTube or for Brick Fantasy. So, everybody ready? Oh, that was a bit of a glitch. Good glitch. Everybody has to stay ready. Come on, let's do this. <laughs> Good luck, everybody. No, no chop chat party, Mia. And hello, too. I did see you before come in and I didn't say hello. <laughs> everybody ready remember guys I am ahead of you so there is a time delay and that is why we have live chat on because what comes up in live chat is live so I'm going to say go and it's going to come up in the box before you actually hear me say it but hopefully you see it because that's why you're on live chat <laughs> I'm going to go to random.org Org. This is where we'll be generating our winning number. And uh, let's give ourselves a minute to a minute and 30 seconds. Now, this will obviously there's a delay, so you'll. I'm setting it. The alarm will go off when it's time. I'm just going to keep coloring this pretty image. She's very pretty. I'm actually running out of this marker and I was last time and uh, I still haven't filled it. Probably time I do that. <laughs> this is E double zero. All I've used for this one so far is E zero four, E zero, E eleven, sorry, E triple double zero and I'll be using E triple zero. Nice guys, looking good. I'm use a little bit of R20 here in her cheeks. She's got to have a little bit of blush. Oh, time is up. Stop. All right, let's type it in so you guys can get there. Nice work, peoples. Let's do it. Sniff, sniff. <laughs> Where is it? Random. There you are. Okay. Number 16 is a winning number. Number 16. Type that in. Abby, Abby, you're the closest, my darling. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. 
congratulations. I will be in touch with you, my dear. Great job. I know, I know you'll do some beautiful, beautiful colourings from it. She looks nice so far. I need a little bit of darkness around here. Bye, Joanna. Don't forget to come back on Monday because on Monday I'm actually giving a discount to everybody uh, for a couple of new Momo Girl images that just came out. Uh, so, and uh, we're going to have a quick look at Momo Girl's new images and maybe we'll do a Momo Girl image I think on Monday seeing as we're advertising the discount so make sure you pop back and have a great weekend she's looking awesome already don't you just love it when it just comes together <laughs> she looks so cool Well, she looks mysterious. The Queen's sister, I'm sure she's sought after in this dragon world. I'm sure she is. Oh, thanks, Nana doesn't always all turn out right hey guys the um the image that I was doing on Monday I'd done a little bit more of it um, but I haven't finished it still it's it's coming along um, being holidays it's hard for me to get to it but it is getting there look how she's turning out so far I haven't quite finished her hair yet we've still got the bottom to do but um, isn't she looking awesome? <laughs> so uh, I've got the glove, which we're going to do in a little bit of a green, but I think I'll do it a lighter green than her eyes, and the wolf will do with some warm greys. She's almost there. She's getting there. Night, Renee. Stay safe, please. Stay safe. And um, Jasmine Beckett uh, just brought out a new Patreon image, which is Christmas, like she did last year, um, which is really nice too. But I don't think I'm going to get to it this year. I think Christmas is almost upon us. So, Monday will be my last stream until after Christmas and uh, I think the one before the end of the new year we might do a, like a bit of a rewind and go through all of the images that I've done this year uh, and show those off because um, I'm telling you I've done heaps heaps <laughs> Bye Kenny Lovely, thank you so much for popping by. I hope you're feeling well. And I will chat soon. Using a little bit of E21. I'm almost ready to head off guys, I just wanted to 
get a little bit of this one done for you. She's looking amazing. A little bit of E double zero. Just finishing it off with some E triple zero. Oh, I need some cat hair. Why not? I have baking to do. Lots of baking. Put our cookies. Uh, make some little cute desserts. Twenty there. Let's give her some white. I, don't, I want her to sort of be neutral looking. We might need a little bit of depth. Uh, I don't want to go too dark though, so maybe a little bit of ah. Uh, 43. So put a little bit of that in the corner of her eye there as well. I think we could use some pencil to go after some of these black lines too. What have I got out here already? Bit of process red, just turn color over the darker lines a little bit. Don't like those dark lines, bit of white. Sometimes with images like this too, I'll um, actually print them lighter than the original colour, just so that the lines aren't quite as dark. Lovely! Look at her! She's so beautiful! She needs some pink nails. She needs some beautiful, uh, I don't know what colour, blue eyes, green eyes, hazel, purple eyes. Oh, let's do purple eyes. <laughs> I'm a shocker, I know. <laughs> Hi, Diane. We had some V06 and a little bit of V04. And uh, let's just add a tiny little bit of white in there. Just across the bottom edge there. The white Prisma color I'm going to use. Up there, some white gel pen. Hello, beautiful. Gray, some C zero. Add a little bit of depth in there. 
be nice to look like that, wouldn't it? <laughs> a little bit of colourless blender just to make those edges a little bit fluffy. I think we probably could do it a bit darker actually. She has got the uh, mask over her face which would make that top section a little bit darker. Yeah, that's a bit better. Hi Bev! We've almost finished. This one's from the Fantasy Ball Colouring Book by Fabrica Fantasy. We just did a bit of a giveaway for it. It is lovely. It's called the Queen Sister, I'm pretty sure, is what we what it was named. What it was named. She's very pretty. And I'm uh, finished for the day. We've done quite a bit today. Did a couple of flip throughs and uh, did a tester in the new Anastasia called to have a book. Not short of uh, things to do is there. <laughs> Not at all. No problems guys. Thanks so much for joining us and uh, thank you so much for supporting the artists that I've represented today. I'm going to pop up some links for you. The Mermaid Legends 2nd Edition Colouring Book by Anastasia Koldeva is on her website. You can also purchase it on a few places including a couple of stores on Etsy. Um, I've also got the Fierce Females Colouring Book, the new one by Nathaniel Wake, which was only, I think, um, uh, Sean was saying it's only $5 on Prime, so um, awesome value. And uh, that's a link for that. And also, of course, Fantasy Ball. For those that didn't win a copy, congratulations to Abby. <laughs> uh, it is available on their website. It is the second last book that they've released. They just released one bef after this one, but this is the one before that called Fantasy Ball. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed today. I hope you have a great weekend. Merry Christmas to those that I don't see on Monday. And uh, hopefully I do catch you all because we do have a discount to give away. So um, you'll be able to get a couple of Momo Girl images really good priced. So um, make sure you pop in for that. That's it. I'm done. I hope you like her. She's looking awesome. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye.